So what does your wife really want in the bedroom and how can you get those fantasies that she's having? How can you start to make them come alive? Well, I'm going to be talking about this today. I'm going to give you some really good tips to help you move into opening her up for more bedroom play, more sexual play, and for her to feel more comfortable in maybe revealing her fantasies or for you to start incorporating the fantasies that she has into your play. Women want to have sex as much as men want to have sex, but women are also just afraid about opening up their themselves sexually as men are, are, are afraid. You know, we tend to hold back what we really desire. We're afraid to really expose who we are deeper down inside of us. We're afraid to expose it to our most intimate partner. There are many reasons for why we hold back our sexual fantasies, fear, the way we're brought up, society, ancestral trauma, all sorts of things. But we're not going to go into that today. We're going to go into how, what you can do, what kind of actionable steps you can take to open up your partner, focusing on her feeling more desired and focusing on the desires that she actually has, and then allowing her to be more relaxed so that she can start to play out the fantasies that she has and the fantasies that you have as well. If it's your first time here, then I'd love it if you could hit my subscribe button right now. It really helps me keep these videos going and boost my rankings up in the YouTube algorithm. So please hit subscribe. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. There's a lot of different steps, but I'm going to give you five really good steps that you can start to practice now that is really directly connected to what your wife desires in the bedroom. These are going to make a huge difference in how you interact with each other, how she feels about connecting with you, how she, whether she wants to have intimate connections with you or not. You got to try some of these new things and move into a different way of exploring your relationship, your intimate and sexual relationship. Women are often shy to ask for these things from their partner. Sometimes they might not even really know that these are the things that they want, but what's happening so far is not working for them and so they just keep backing off backing off backing off until there's no sex happening at all between the two of you so i'm going to give you some secrets that you don't even have to tell your wife about you can just start implementing experimenting exploring how they work with your partner what you can do to make it really satisfying for her and yeah importantly when you are doing these steps, watch how she reacts. See what she says. See how she how she energetically feels as you as you explore some different techniques with her. Try not to take things personally as well. Now, if your wife is saying, "Oh, I feel silly. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, that no, I can't do that. Oh, no, honey, I'm too tired. Uh, um, what are you doing? Are you crazy? What is this silliness?" Keep yourself solid in what you want to do. Keep yourself directed in how you want to approach your partner. Okay. You can see that she's uncomfortable. Okay. So just stand firm. Let her go through her uncomfortability. It's okay, honey. This is going to be fun. This is going to be great. You're going to love it. Encourage her. Okay. Get her in the mood for it. Get her knowing that you are solid in this and you want to participate with her. So she's uncomfortable, but you're going to try and find ways to make her comfortable before you actually go into it. If she is outright, no, I don't want to do this. Forget it. I'm not going to approach this. You can see that energetically that she's <laughs> wants to pull away. Okay. Go in even more gently. Well, I would really like to do this. So maybe when you're ready, we can try it and you will approach it again another time in a different way. If she is a little bit kind of goofy and silly, you know, I don't know, it sounds kind of like kind of silly. She feels like a little bit silly. Then play, go into the playfulness of it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be silly, but so what? Let's have fun. Let's try it out. So you want to play into the energies that you're receiving from her instead of cutting her off. Okay, fine. You want to do it. You never want to do anything. You know, you don't want to cut your partner off. Even if she says no, you always say no. Why do you always say no? You never want to do anything. Don't block it. Don't block it. Just be gentler and softer and you will see a very different reaction from her. Be solid in who you are. Be solid on the ground. Be grounded. 
you feel like you're a trunk of a tree and you're growing deep, 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 deep to the center of the earth and you're held solidly. So you know what you want. You know how you want to get it and you know what you want to offer your partner so that she has more pleasure, right? She has more pleasure, that you have more pleasure as a couple and that you can start opening up to other possibilities, other fantasies that you have and that she has. But first you have to get into some kind of um, softness, gentleness, uh, foreplay, right? Foreplay. So number one, no repetition, okay? Do not do the same thing that you've been doing over and over and over again. You have to be creative. Come up with something new, a different way of doing it, a different direction, a different approach. No repetition <laughs> on anything. <laughs> this is one thing women desire. They don't want repetition. They get bored. Their body shuts down from the same thing because they know it over and over and over again. They don't want to experience that anymore. It's not doing anything for them. So you want to approach in a more creative manner. For example, if you've been having sex constantly, it's in the bedroom. And do it in a different location of the house, the living room, the kitchen. Approach her there. Approach and, well, not only in the location, but in every step you take, you want to go into it differently. You want to touch her in a different way. You want to say different things. You want to uh, go at a different speed. Okay, the same time, the whole time, watching her, feeling her energy, seeing how she reacts. Okay, you want to keep it different. No repetition, no repetition. Keep that in your mind when you're approaching your partner. No repetition. Leanna says no repetition. Okay, I keep doing the same thing. You'll realize like, wow, I keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And that's not working anymore. Number two, you want to lock eyes with her. Okay, this is the window of the soul, the eye contact. And it has a profound effect on a woman. When you lock eyes, you are super present and you say exactly what you want when you're looking at her in the eyes. If you're like moving your eyes around and you're like not really looking at her and you're distracted, she doesn't feel your presence. She doesn't really know that you want to be there with her and that you want to go on a journey with her. You want to do something intimate with her. You want to lock eyes. You want to lock eyes prior to having any kind of sexual connection or intimacy. You want to lock eyes during that sexual intimacy. Stop. Take a moment. Lock eyes. Look at her. Say something loving. Say something sexy. Say something dirty. Lock eyes with her though because then it shows that you really care about her. That you really want to be there. That you really want to connect with her at this different level. This might be the one thing that you do that you never usually do. <laughs> that's different. That's not repetition. Lock eyes. Look at her in the eyes. See her deeply. Understand her. Feel her. And through the eyes, you can get a lot of information. Number three is be prepared. Okay, so you're not going to repeat. You're going to be locking eyes with her. You're going to be um, present with her no matter what. And you want to be prepared for something different. If you're not going to repeat, then what are you going to do? Well, maybe you bought a little toy that you want to play with her. Or maybe you have some, um, a scarf or some rope or something put aside because you're going to suggest that you tie her up. How can I make this a different scenario for her? How can I add something different into this connection with us tonight? To, to stimulate her more, to bring her into connecting with me more, to have more fun together, to be more playful with each other. Preparation. There are so many toys out there. <laughs> I mean, that's something you can also do is go down to a, a, um, a sex shop with her and find some kind of interesting gadget that you can play with, toy you can play with. Or maybe she has something already that she uses to please herself. And many, many women do. So you can suggest that, okay, let me see this toy that you have that you're using. I'd love to watch you play with yourself. You know? So the fourth thing that your wife is really going to love, and this, this, you know, all of these things that I'm talking about are combined. They're all combined. You combine them all and it'll be like, oof, a magical pot of <laughs> magical, a magical potion, right? Um, is to be direct, be clear, okay? Now, this comes with sort of this dominant attitude, but this loving, open, gentle, 
um, uh, full, present, dominant kind of a, a person, you know, a man, a masculine energy. Direct exactly what you want. Tell her exactly what it is in a very clear manner. Now you can practice this by just using the word I want, I want, I want this, I want that, I want you to do this, I want, and just use it in your everyday practicing or practice it on your own if you're not used to asking for what you want. Practice, I want you to kiss me. I want you to lie down and, and I want you to lie on the bed. I want you to wear this sweet little negligee. I want you to come here so I can hold you in my arms. I want to kiss your neck. I want to touch you all over your body. You know, these are, these are powerful, powerful tools for women when they hear a clear, direct instruction that comes from a deep desire within their partner. Okay. And I would strongly suggest you practice using the words I want if you're not used to it. And <laughs> then start to experiment with your partner by asking clear, direct um uh, statements and watch how she responds and again like go back and use all of these techniques no no repetition um, eye contact and you know being clear using all of these into one package you're gonna be ah, a magician a magician and she's gonna desire you like never before let me tell you <laughs> Number five is no rushing. So foreplay has to be long and slow and juicy and creative. Women need time to warm their bodies up. They need time to get into the mood. They need time to get feeling really sexy and, and um, desiring of the situation. They need time. Slow down. Enjoy the moment. Use all of these other aspects that I've talked about. One, two, three, four. And take your time. Um, <laughs> you can think about it like anything that you might do. If you're cooking a meal, you are going to take time to chop the vegetables and, and cook them up and fry them or boil them or whatever you're going to do. And then you bring them together and you add the spices and then it has to cook for a while and then it boils and then you prepare other parts of the meal and then you put them all on the plate and then... And then you finally put it down on the table and you finally get to enjoy the meal. So that's what it is that you need to try to focus on is really savoring the moments, taking the time, take your time to warm her up, watch her. And you know, you're going to go on a little journey. And these are the kinds of things that I've been talking about, about what women desire, what your partner really desires from her, from you, so that you can then open her into a place where she might reveal her fantasies, or you can even ask her about her fantasies. Maybe you can reveal your fantasies to her, and you can start talking about sex in a more calm, open uh, manner. She's relaxed. You have shown that you really are present. You really care about the situation. You're ready to take the time to connect with her, okay? These are the sexual experience. Forget about that, you know, that end goal that that we were always thinking about, you know, penetration, orgasm. That comes later. That builds, that orgasm, penetration, these things take time to build to. And if you take that time, if you take the time to build up, to, to get your partner ready, to get her body into the moment, to get your own body into the moment, to get the connection happening between the two of you, that penetration, when it eventually happens, when the orgasm starts to come and grow and she is able to start to connect to it, it's going to be way more satisfying than you've ever experienced for her, for you. You're going to both feel so much more alive in your bodies. You're going to feel more connected. You're going to feel more youthful. You're going to feel like, wow, We've had quite the experience today. We've had, you know, a real sexual experience, a sexual journey. And it's going to open the two of you into exploring other things and talking about other things. You're going to, you know, you're going to feel more calm about talking about sex. So take the lead, you know, take the lead with your wife. 
Take the lead in your power, in your strength, in your ability to really show up in your radical decision to make a change in your intimate and sexual life. If you want to change, if you want to make some, 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 something different happen, if you want to feel something different with this partner that you're planning to be with for the rest of your life, potentially, or you would like to because you love her so much, then let's experiment. You know, go into the experimentation of something different and new. Simple techniques that I've offered, try them out and comment below. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any other ideas. Share it up. This is a community. We want to talk about this, share it and, um, you know, start creating the most incredible sex lives that we, what we've ever had before. Nice to chat with you today and I will talk to you again very soon. Mwah. Much love making.